Hi everyone. I decided to make a video about an embarrassing moment in seventh grade. I, I I was trying to think of what are some topics I can discuss, and I was like, I had so many awkward and embarrassing moments in the public school system before college that I was like, I should probably talk about those experiences that I had, right? So I thought. What's one event that really stands out that resonates to this day, and it's something that happened to me in gym class in seventh grade. So, let's get to that. Okay, so quick background on what kind of a student I was in, you know, elementary, middle, and high school. I was a very quiet student. I did not speak a lot, and I really. I'm not really sure why that was, but I was a very anxious and nervous person, so I didn't really have a lot of friends until high school when I really started to open up just a little bit more. But for most of my public school、uh, career, I was known as the quiet kid. I was practically mute. I mean, I, I would talk here and there, but for the most part, I was quiet. And I guess this is why this experience is just so like. Oh, it's just—it's not terrifying, but just it was so dramatic because of my personality and how it really like affected me until like a few years ago. This was the 2005-2006 school year. So 2005, I, be, I, I entered seventh grade, and that was the first year where you had to change clothes for gym class. And I and for me, I dreaded this year because. Well, for, first, I hated gym class because I felt like I was never really, you know, masculine enough to do the, you know, the manly sports and activities with the other guys. And plus, I, since I was quiet, no one really wanted to play with me or, you know, really try to socialize with me because of who I was. But you know, whatever. But when I find out that, oh my gosh, this is the first time that I'm going to have to change in front of other people who have nicer looking bodies than me. <laughs> That is awful. All right,、um, so let's. All right, so let's get into. It. I'm I'm a little nervous because <laughs> I I've only told this story to a few of my friends. You know, I kind of laugh at it now, but you know, just reliving it is kind of like crazy. Whew, okay, so before I get to the actual event, this is how I would change. Well, the event happened and it changed the way that I would dress out. So let me just get into what happened afterwards. Afterwards, I usually would have like you know my gym shirt and my gym shorts underneath my normal school clothes. I would just take them off, throw it in my locker, close it, and leave the locker room. Anything to get me out of there as fast as possible. And some other guys would do this. I know I'm, I'm not the only person. I know millions of other guys who would tend to be self-conscious, especially you know middle and high school. They they just had everything underneath their clothes, right? So that's usually what I would do. Or Whenever I just didn't feel like having those clothes、um, underneath my normal clothes, I would wait until that、uh, that sweet moment when all the other guys were seemed to be preoccupied in their own conversations or you know touching all, all over each other, you know slapping each other, and blah, blah blah. And I'll quickly take off my shirt and I'll quickly take off my pants or or my shorts and then put on my gym attire and leave. That's how I did it after this event. So now let's talk about this event. Well. It centers around this one guy, and I'm not even going to mention his name because I don't want to give him the satisfaction. All right,、um, but I'm pretty sure he, if he ever would, I don't know. I, my, I have a dying YouTube channel. It's not even, it's not growing, but whatever. If he ever sees this video, he might know it's about him. I'm just gonna call him Mr. Blonde because in, I'm pretty sure in like middle school. He and a few other guys bleached their hair blonde, or at least got like the the blonde tipped tips or the highlights, something like that. I just remember he was one of those students who became bleach blonde, but I think he's really a brunette. I don't know. Anyways, we'll call him Mr. Blonde. And it, this had to be the first week of seventh grade, the first week. And I went in and got ready to change. And of course, I'm nervous. I'm getting very hot, maybe sweating. I don't remember, but I know I was very. Nervous, and I would wear. At that time, I would wear briefs or tidy whities. Okay, because you know <clears throat> the ones that look like this, 
they're just briefs. Um, but I'm pretty sure mine were white because, oh, what happened? When I took off my, my pants or my shorts, I can't remember what I was wearing, and I, my whitey tidies were exposed, Mr. Blonde saw that and was like, he said something to the effect of, look, Brandon is wearing whitey tidies. Look, look at him, look at him. And all the other guys looked, pointed, were laughing at me. He was laughing and I was so, so embarrassed. I think I may have laughed or giggled to be like, haha, yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, this is silly that I wear this still, right? Because the other guys usually would wear like, <clears throat> At the time, they, they would wear um, boxer shorts, things that look like, you know, this, right? I remember I quickly put on my gym shorts, closed my locker, and I left to the gym floor as fast as I can. I was just so, so embarrassed. And, and then because of that, that, that moment, that's why I changed my, my, my changing patterns, right? Close underneath everything so they don't see anything and or change as fast as, as possible when no one's looking. But let me tell you what happened the next day. So, well, that same day when I got home, I tried to find something that was not briefs. So, it, and I can't remember exactly what I found, but I'm pretty sure I found like boxer shorts that I just showed you or something similar to those. But the main thing is they were not briefs. And the next day when I went to gym class and we had to change out in the lockers, I kid you not, as I was getting ready to take off my, my shorts or my pants, Mr. Blonde was standing right there off to the side just staring at me, waiting until I took them off so he could point and laugh at my whitey tidies, right? But lo and behold, I wasn't wearing them. And he said something like, oh, look, he's not wearing whitey tidies today and something like that. And other people, I guess they kind of looked, I can't really remember, but I remember it was not as dramatic as the day before, okay? And I felt a little better about myself. Now, let me tell you how this affected me. Um, that was 2005. And starting in 2005, I stopped wearing briefs. And I didn't buy, you know, these, these type of underwear and, and uh, until about like, two years ago, like around 2017 is when I, I bought them for the first time ever. We're talking well over 10 years that I refused to wear briefs because of what happened that day. Um, other than the briefs, I would wear, you know, the boxer shorts or I would wear um, boxer briefs, which were th these guys, well, well, where they look something like this, you know, they're a little longer, but they're not boxer shorts so and they they hold things in their places much better all right after a while i got tired of wearing the boxer shorts because like it's like wearing shorts under shorts and it was very rumply and it looked weird whenever i wore like well-fitted jeans you can see the rumples underneath the jeans so after a while i switched to boxer briefs because they look nicer and yeah i want to say because those briefs that i just showed you those are relatively new and the small collection of briefs that i now have I, I bought them just like about two years ago, I wanna say. So up until around 2017, I never wore briefs because I thought that was very childlike. But then, you know, when you get to college and then you start to realize you can just do whatever you want. Who cares what you wear? You know, it's what you want, what makes you feel comfortable. And a lot of people look nice in briefs. It looks better than boxer shorts. And so, it took time, but about, yeah, like I said, about two years ago is when I finally bought my first pair of briefs. Again, you know, fashionable ones. You saw those, those were Tommy Hilfiger, baby. That was my experience then, you know, when I was victimized and traumatized by a terrible bully, right? Now, I'm not trying to make this video so I can hope Mr. Blonde sees it and comments, I'm so sorry, I'm not looking for any apologies. You know, you were a terrible person back then. All right, I just hope you're a better person now, all right? But just know that your actions affected me for more than 10 years. Let this also be a, a general PSA to all the bullies out there or those who are semi or on the borderline of becoming bullies. Be mindful of the comments you make about people, especially when they are very, in a state of vulnerability such as changing and they're showing off their bodies all right they're uh, to many people such as myself 
we're very uncomfortable undressing in front of other people. And so it's not just being mindful in like locker rooms, but just in general. It happened to me and just that one thing really changed just how I dressed. And that's a that's a big thing, all right? Now, um, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm not like saying, I'm not trying to imply that I, I still have like mental problems and I'm like still like scared and like suffering from what Mr. Blonde did to me. Absolutely not. But I just thought this would be somewhat of a humorous story to tell. But I hope you didn't enjoy what happened to me, but just found it intriguing or interesting. So, all right, this is the end of my video and... I hope it was interesting. Thank you. Bye.